let's talk about yeah. Nick Cannon. Hope you're having because a good I don't even so know what he did, content. but uh, also, he had a enjoy. the Jews moment. Originally, when that that running back or whatever that NFL justice. player you had some Hitler quote devil. where he said something along the lines of like Hitler was pretty poggers, dude. Um, on this take, who agrees? You know, drop some hearts in the chat you if you think Hitler was poggers. Justice. Like whatever the fuck that guy said, the NFL the Eagles receiver. And a lot of people were uh, confused by that. They're like, what? Why is this you random dude like weirdly quoting a devil. fake quote by Hitler that Hitler never even said? And we we dove a little bit into the the Nation of Islam conspiracies you don't love and the, the, the Black Israelite devil. conspiracies. The actual reason and it has gained a lot of momentum. Uh, surprisingly, uh, even someone as, uh, as as dumb as Nick Cannon. Now, there's a serious element to this because these conspiracy theories do take root and do poison people's brains. And then there's also a hilarious part of this, which is Nick Cannon is now a hotep. Like what? I, I wish we weren't immediately living in this timeline so that I could just like look at it from above and be like, that's pretty funny when you just forget the fact that, you know, this means that a lot of people are starting to believe this shit. All right. So Nick Cannon says white people are a little less closer to animals than true savages. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if we'll be able to be serious when I'm covering this. He is then when we talk about the power of melanated people, when we talk mm -hmm. about who we really are as guys and understanding right. that our melanin is so power and it connects us in a way that the reason why they fear black, the reason why they fear is because they, the lack that they have of it. So then when you see what, you know, Dr. Uh, Francis C. Wellesley talked about. Oh my God. What is this? Oh my God, what's going on? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh devil. no. Oh, that's, oh, that's, oh God, Jesus. I don't think people should be calling the Nation of Islam a hate group. I don't think Nation of Islam in its entirety is a hate group, but the new Nation of Islam, especially led by Louis Farrakhan, is, is hearing a lot of hatred in their uh, regular uh, meetings. I mean, Louis Farrakhan is a anti-Semite. You can't act like Louis Farrakhan is not a psycho dude next you're gonna tell me that ados has honest intentions and and tariq nasheed is actually just uh doing what's right for the the true black uh the ones who suffered uh the consequences of slavery and therefore reparations should not be extended to immigrants and that we should shut down immigrants as well right he's on point about white people historically listen man he, you can't fucking say that when he's literally talking about melanin envy dog <laughs> what the fuck like that's the melanin that connects us. Right. So the people that Excuse don't me. have it, I'm sorry. Have, and I'm, I'm gonna say this hey, carefully. This <laughs> I just watched Are the Michael Brooks interview less from last year when they were sent to the mountains of Caucasus, when they when they didn't have the power of the sun. That was that the sun then started to <laughs> deteriorate mm -hmm. them. So then there, anyone who hyper focuses on this shit and thinks that this is indicative of all black people but realizes QAnon is just a specific subsect of white people is a racist, by the way. I'll just point that out very quickly and squash that element really quick before we get into it. Anyone who looks at like Nick Cannon and a bunch of other like random fucking insane uh, black celebrities coming out now and like openly just hotep posting and thinks that like this is uh, across the board what black people believe and we should really worry about this beyond like a couple psychos. You're you're a freak. You are a freak. Either like saying that this is indicative of all black people in their way of thinking is like saying every white person is QAnon. Just pointing that out, okay? Also, both are equally damaging. No, both aren't equally damaging. This is infinitely less powerful than QAnon, if we're being real. Like Barack Obama wasn't f Barack Obama's daughters weren't posting about the Q equivalent when he was president. You know what I mean? Like, like that wasn't happening. Like they weren't, they weren't like, you know, that Louis Farrakhan guy, he's got some good ideas. Like Obama was not, uh, uh, I'm saying black QAnon, like black QAnon, hotep shit. I'm just like trying to compartmentalize this for you to understand it a little bit easier. Like it, it, the QAnon stuff is like infinitely more damaging because there's actual political power associated with it. Whereas like, this is just, misguided people who unfortunately find themselves at the precipice or at the at the rabbit hole of radicalization in a different way but as i described earlier as is the case with every conspiracy theory it of course always ties back to the jews let's keep watching or the only way that they can act is evil 
the only way they can they, they have to rob steal rape kill and fight or flight okay. in, or, in order to survive exactly so then these people who didn't have what we had and when i say we i speak of the mm -hmm. melanated people right they had to be savages they had because they're in these nordic mountains they're in these rough uh torrential environments mm. so they oh wow how understanding of him uh to say white people across the board are barbaric they're savages but you know it's because of the it's because of the climate <laughs> and because they just don't have melanin <laughs> this is so dumb oh jesus christ dude oh yeah yeah oh this is two sides of the same coin like and this is precisely why a lot of those hoteps especially like the worst like hotep jesus and all those uh worst uh grifters in this movement you don't straight up work with white supremacists they they believe that they have similar goals like black separatism they believe that they have similar goals overall to have and i don't i'm not saying nick cannon does but a lot of hoteps or a lot of like more radical black separatist movements literally have the exact same uh idea ideal society as nazis do which you is completely psychotic it's white fragility all the way down devil. what no man none of this has anything to do with white fragility everything this has everything to do with how damaging and everlasting slavery and white supremacy has been that when you are robbed of your culture your heritage your ethnic background and like enslaved for uh, hundreds of years and then on top of that still subjected to systemic discrimination for you an extended period of time devil. you end up looking for different uh alternative histories alternative histories that make you feel better about your uh mythologized past that's like it's no different than the a cuck in Idaho who thinks he is uh, the descendant of Vikings because he's posting uh, the N-word on the internet. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like that. Whereas, but there is more of a serious systemic problem and historic reasoning for why even someone like Nick Cannon would be caught up in Hotep shit than the Idaho kid who is just suffering from the oppressive nature of, uh, of capitalism and the alienation he feels in our modern industrialized society. They both, it both it comes from the same place. There's more. Oh, give it to me. Let me inject it directly into my veins. Some first Deshaun Jackson, now Nick Cannon. The Jewish community is canceling out the black Hebrew Israelites left and right. One thing about the black Israelites is they don't budge. I wonder how many other black celebrity Israelites will continue to speak out. Dude. How do you not realize that this is just straight up pinning everybody against one another? Listen, hey, I don't know if I should uh, Dr. Umar post right now, but hey, think, okay? United, we conquer. Divided, we fail. They want you to be divided, brothers and sisters. Seriously, it, it's so dumb. Oh yeah, black people against Jewish people. Uh, black people against Latino people. Uh, black people against white people. We are all workers. Just checked your melanin levels. I'm sorry to say you need more melanin to talk about this issue. People spending all this time dunking on Nick Cannon refuse to acknowledge anti-Semitism and whites. They only care about it when black voices are speaking out. It's in bad faith completely. Yeah, all, all conspiracies turn into uh, the Jews. So like <laughs> white people are like, oh, look at Nick Cannon. He's being so anti-Semitic. Meanwhile, they're like, George Soros, QAnon. <laughs> like, and just for the record, and I always want to point this out, loving and supporting israel and wanting to kiss the israeli flag and wanting to suck bibi netanyahu's cock does not make you pro-jew as a matter of fact some of the worst anti-semites are uh pro-israel okay don't don't come in here with that nonsense either just like criticizing israel and its decade-long almost century-long project of uh turning israel into a, a theocratic ethno state and all of the human rights abuses that they commit on a regular basis is not being anti-Semitic. I'm not anti-white when I say America does a lot of fucked up imperialism. I'm not anti-Arab or anti-Muslim when I say ISIS is fucking sicko. They're psychos. It doesn't work that way. Anyway, let's watch the rest of this. Oh God, this is great. It became a problem for us because of the propaganda machine. So again, like I have to point this out. 
propaganda machine, anti-corporate sentiments. Like you will always pick up on any number of these conspiracy theories. You will always pick up on some left adjacent ideas, some of which are 100% on the money and true, but they're right for all the wrong reasons. If I can describe it, instead of being upset at the way that our, uh, you know, the way that global finance capitalism operates, they're like, oh, the Jews run the banks and that's why it's bad. That, no, the counter to this problem that we all suffer from currently under capitalism is not just swapping out the Jews who run the banks, which by the way, it's not even Jewish people when you look at it. It's like, if you want a, a shadowy conspiracy in America, it's white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, which it's not. It's just the way that uh, the the uh, makeup was originally in, in the founding of this country and the first couple waves of immigration. But it's literally wasps. It's not the Jews. If you want to be like, oh, a shadowy group of individuals are running this country. It's motherfucking wasps, bitch. It's not Jews. Anyway, and even then it's not like wasps aren't getting together and having white Anglo-Saxon Protestant meetings uh, where they decide what to do with the rest of the world. My point is it's not substituting one group uh that you perceive is in power and then putting your representatives there it's about dismantling an oppressive hierarchy not to sound too much like an anarchist but it's about reversing power from a top-down approach to a bottom-up approach they, they don't want us to be them not deeper than that they don't want us to be us mm. Mm. they don't want you oh your here head. we go this i'm sorry but again nowhere near as powerful or as uh nowhere near in history has uh, hoteps ever had a crumb of power or, or a crumb of relevance uh if you compare it to like white supremacy obviously especially in how fundamental a role white supremacy has played in in the development of this country and still does to this day i always have to qualify this but it is incredible how similar this concept is to nazis white people alt-right uh members always fucking turn around and say stuff like you know, there is a pussification of, of uh, white people. Like we are, we are descendants of barbarians and, and, you know, Vikings and whatnot. Look at us now. We're all pussies. We've been feminized because of feminism and cultural Bolshevism. And, uh, you know, that's the exact same thing that Nazis used to say and like all this LGBT stuff. And that's exactly what you see in fucking Hotep corners as well. There is a bimbification of black people. Remember when with Dwight Howard, when it came out that Dwight Howard was uh, uh, potentially having sex with a trans sex worker, everyone was like, oh, he's gay. Oh, he is like the white Jewish slave owners have uh, turned him into uh, a, a gay person. Rick Nasheed usually uh, says that every black woman, for example, that has sex with a non-black person is a, I don't know if this is a word I'm not allowed to say, but a bed wench. Uh, including my friend Brianna Joy Gray, he used to routinely harass. It is definitely a, a similar mentality as like uh, as as uh, some of these other fascist radicalized uh, movements, some of these like fascist adjacent adjacent movements, where they'll say like, "Oh, there is a feminization of our group by some other outside forces," and again, it usually goes to it. It goes back to the same mentality of like these outside forces are. These outside forces are uh, destroying black masculinity or destroying white masculinity and, and white culture. When we when we speak of because this is where it truly is. And we talk about those, <coughs> the, the, the six corporations. When we talk, when we go as deep as the Rothschild, centralized banking, those, the, 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 the 13 families, uh, the bloodlines that control everything, even outside of America. And we're defining who the Jewish people are, because I feel like if we actually can understand that construct, then we can see that there is no hate involved. When we talk about right, right. the lies, the deceit, the how the, the fake dollar controls all of this, then maybe we can get to the reason why they wanted to silence you, why they want to silence mm -hmm. Minister Farrakhan, and they want to throw that. We are having hate speech when it's never hate speech, when it's not. Right. You can't be anti-semitic when the semitic when, when we we are the semitic people when we are the same like they're the true uh chosen sons and daughters of god like they are oh jesus christ people that you that's our birthright that's our birthright so if that's truly our birthright there's no hate involved it's not how did this message get so misconstrued when we went, we came back to claim it nick cannon was taken out of context in this there is no way dude I i'm sorry but he is just like, he's fully Farrakhan pilled.
I mean, I hear all this shit. I hear the 13 families, the Rothschilds, and he even literally brings up Farrakhan in that context. There is no way to see him out of context in this circumstance. My dude is Farrakhan posting pretty hard on a Monday morning. All right. You really hate to see it. Some part of me thinks it's really funny. I mean, a big part of me thinks it's really funny because like this is just unhinged and I laugh when uh, white people say psychotic shit like this. I laugh when black people say insane shit like this, psychotic shit like this as well. Full video. I'm not going to watch one minute. And where is the lie though? We all know that a few corporations control the majority of the economy. Yeah, exactly. But that's like saying the earth is flat. Where is the lie? It feels flat. Yeah, it feels flat. But there's a whole different, there's a whole scientific process of understanding why it feels flat flat and why you don't fall off the earth so if you keep it at that and and then turn it around to some insane conspiracy like he's doing then you're not right you're super wrong that's why every that's why i always say every conspiracy always has a crumb of fucking truth a truth that other people are too scared to say or see and then it just gets wrapped around uh, a, a whole bunch of just like 17 different fucking layers of of nonsense while yes a few corporations own like a, a large percentage an insane percentage of uh commodity production or whatever they're not owned single-handedly by 13 families and the rothschilds and whatnot uh that correct number is in the thousands and they are billionaires you can look them up the correct number is in um the hundreds of thousands if you want to really uh expand on it could you please explain and be more specific about the abbreviations you're using farrakhan <laughs> farrakhan farrakhan is minister lewis farrakhan that's not how you spell his name he's an american religious leader uh and uh he heads the nation of islam uh a group that he has led since 1977 lewis farrakhan allegedly was responsible for ml uh not mlk sorry malcolm x's assassination as well it is anti-white theology for the most part, LGB, anti-LGBT, anti-white, anti-Semitic uh, theology. That's, that's where it comes from. Louis Farrakhan, for the most part, is, I would say, more significant than all of these other leaders and movements that we're talking about. For example, Black Israelites and stuff like that. Like Those are way less significant than Louis Farrakhan because Louis Farrakhan has been able to go in and out of, because of the historic relevance of the nation of islam he's been able to get, go in and out of uh, circles of power to some degree even if people don't listen to him it doesn't matter he still represents a significant enough constituency that uh that he speaks to that you know uh people get sucked into his uh nonsense but uh here are some uh, of his own words from the splc the southern poverty law center the jews a small handful control the movement of this great nation like a radar Controls the movement of a great ship in the waters. The Jews got a stranglehold on Congress. And the Christian devil. right with your blindness Love to that wicked pretty state pretty of nice Israel. Months. Can that be the holy land? You have gay parades. <laughs> Getting mad at Israel is one thing. Getting mad at Israel for having gr gay parades is an entirely different subject, though. Imagine looking at what the Israeli government does and being like, you know, I'm really pissed off about those fucking gay parades, dude. <laughs> Ironic, because that's low-key what for example someone like uh osama bin laden said which was the thing that frustrates osama bin laden the most about america was the fact that america had uh homosexuality run rampant uh ironic because then you uh, then you go back to the other side of the equation to someone like dinesh d'souza or uh pat robertson who then agree with osama bin laden and say that uh, America deserved 9-11 because we have homosexuality run rampant here. Imagine f saying America deserved it, but because of the reasons that Osama bin Laden pointed out. Osama bin Laden didn't you destroy the Twin Towers. That was a false a flag operation to take the world's attention away from the great disunity in America after George W. Bush stole the election. I'm not an anti-Semite. I am anti-termite. Uh, saying Jews are like uh, vermin. Pedophilia and sexual per perversion institutionalized in Hollywood and the entertainment industries can be traced. To Talmudic principles and Jewish influence. Okay. Straight up Nazi shit. Not Jewish influence. Satanic influence under the name of the Jew. So, again, grain of truth with psychotic nonsense.
attached to it. Like, is there sexual perversion, like rape and, and sexual assault uh, and, and pedophilia even in uh, Hollywood? Certainly. Certainly. Okay. Let's, let's not mix words here. Does it have anything to do with the Jewish influence? No, mother 